Hi, it's James Clark here. Um, we don't all have access to complicated statistical analysis packages. Um, GraphPad Prism is the kind of standard for my lab, um, but we don't all have access to that. It's quite expensive, so some of us are left just using Excel to do all of our data analysis. Um, Excel is a quite a capable um, application, but as it uh, comes default as installed on your computer, there are very few um, useful data analysis tools available to you. So here we've got a spreadsheet you can see on the screen with two groups of data and we want to apply a t-test between these two groups of data. So we uh, look up in the menu bars and we think right well where might it be? It might be in data, it might be somewhere, but there's nothing up here saying anything about data analysis and that's because this computer hasn't been set up to do data analysis but that's very simple go to the file menu and choose options go to your add-ins and choose manage Excel add-ins press go and you'll see here the add-ins available are the analysis tool pack the analysis tool pack VBA which is a visual basic extension to the tool pack and a couple of euro currency and solver add-ins uh, for accountants so we click on these two here and this allows statistical analysis tools for statistical and engineering analysis and also biological analysis so you press OK. Nothing looks like it's changed apart from now in the data tab we have a little window up here you can see highlighted saying data analysis uh, and that's using one of the default analysis tools that comes with Excel. So now we've got our data analysis option we can click on it and it'll bring up a menu allowing us to do a number of statistical tests including one-way, two-way and over, two-way and over with replication, um, smoothing, F-tests, Fourier analysis, um, moving averages, um, various things like random number generation, and down the bottom here we've got our T-tests, both paired and uh, two-sampled. If you do a paired T-test, it'll also give you the results from an unpaired T-test, so you're not restricted to using just a paired T-test. However, we've got two groups, group A and group B, we will um, assume that these are equal variances. We haven't done a, a variance test, but we'll assume it's equal variances because we are trying to ask if group A is different from group B. So we click on t-test to sample assuming equal variances and press OK. Uh, standard Excel style windows come in asking us to enter the variable one range and the variable two range. Group A here is my variable one so I select group A. You notice I've also selected the header and I write here, click here on saying labels which means I'm using group A as a label. Variable 2 I click in the box and choose the group B column and now I click on labels again so make sure it's labels and you'll see it's now entered the two ranges. Hypothesized mean difference, we're not going to enter anything in this box because we're not hypothesizing there is a difference of any amount so we leave that one empty and then we can enter here that we either enter our data onto the existing spreadsheet or we make a new spreadsheet. Since the t-test results are fairly compact I'm going to output them here by clicking on this box and entering a range over here and I'm going to enter the data for the t-test into this window here on the right hand side. I press OK and here we are it's entered the data for the t-test in the window. As you can see it's a bit squished so I'm just going to expand that a little bit, there we go. And now we can see what data we've got. It tells us that the mean of group A is 12.1 and I just want to check that that is the case so I go down here and make sure that it corresponds to the mean that I'd calculated myself which is 12.1. It says the mean of group B is 18.8 .8, and I've got 18.9, that's correct, one decimal place and 7 observations versus 12 observations, n is 7, n is 12. It's always worth just checking that because sometimes Excel goes a little bit mental and starts using the group A and group B headings as numbers and it gets a bit confused. So we go down here and we look on our thing on the screen and we can see here that the two tail P result here is 0.0154. So we can say that our statistical uh, relevance here is that P is less than 0 0.05. We assume that 0 0.05 was our cutoff point, uh, although of course if you're doing an experiment you will state that from the start.
Uh, and since this is a uh, two-tail analysis, 0 0.015 is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we can enter a uh, significance difference for group B versus group A. Uh, and you could go on the graph if you wanted to. I'm just going to load up a little uh, text box here. I'm just going to put a little, a little star on the screen to indicate for myself here that P is less than 0 0.05. So that's how we do a um, two-tail t-test on two sets of data.